Kiki. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Esther Jogona. Once again, I'm back again with another interesting video. Kama kawaida. I know it has been a while since we did another video, but now we are back, guys, with a very big bang. We are not going to be posting. I'm going to be posting two videos in a week. So today, don't for those who have been my family, welcome back. Feel at home. Feel free to watch my interesting video, kitchen. A lifestyle welcome back don't and also don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button it's just free of charge and for those who who are who are who are new to my channel i'm esther jogona and don't forget just hit that subscribe button Let, get me to 1000 subscriber we are road to 1000 subscriber i know before the end of this year or the end of this do, uh, this month we shall attain the 1000 subscribe because i know we shall do it and i wish i can't do it alone we are going to be we are going to do it with you guys so today i'm back with another recipe all about rice uh, vegetable rice so i'm going to be showing you how to make simple vegetable rice in your home feel free so let's get to know the ingredients of today so guys today's ingredients we are going to be having this is smashed garlic we have tomatoes we have onion we have peas green peas we have chopped carlos i have just prepared to save time we have red and green and yellow capsicum we have sweet corns we have of course we have our superior dark superior soy sauce and here we have our paprika we have our mixed spices we have our garlic and we have um, turmeric and also we have a uh, tomato paste so that's our ingredients for today and also because we are preparing the the vegetable rice i've already boiled the rice already this is boiled the rice we are going i'm going to be showing you how to boil the rice but today i have boiled this rice with cooking oil little bit of salt a pinch of salt and um cumin cumin uh, powder so we have already prepared it so to let it cool so we are going to be preparing our ingredients right here guys so i'm going to be taking you each and every step and hope you enjoy watching and also I, while we are cooking don't forget to subscribe hope you enjoy this video of today so guys the first step we are going to do i'm going to be putting uh my onion i've already kept the fire on So we are going to be cooking this um, onion till it turns a uh, golden and not so much golden but for it to cook we are before uh, that we are going to be adding uh, the garlic for them to uh, to cook together this is our garlic i've shown you before you smash it until it gets so smooth also guys don't forget you don't have to put uh, to cook with a uh, high heat it's better you cook with the low heat so as we wait for it to cook don't forget to subscribe guys don't forget just hit that subscribe button tell friends to tell a friend let them subscribe let them enjoy let them know new menu on this channel so guys our onion is ready we are ready to add the the next ingredients so the next step we are going to be uh, adding our tomato paste this one first because we have to let it cook and also don't forget that our tomato paste has a little bit of salt so when you are you are adding your salt remember to use only a pinch of salt because you don't want to make your food so salty or to an extent that you can't eat It's so advisable to let it cook. Then we are going to be adding all other all our spices. 
so let's do so there we go and then the measurement that i used to add our our tomato paste uh, our spices i used the teaspoon each 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 and every spices one teaspoon so then from there as our spices have cooked i'm going to be adding our tomatoes keep stirring to avoid them to burn so you can see till this point i haven't uh, added any salt reason being I want first of all to gather the taste of the salt that is there because we have used the tomato paste which uses uh, which has a, a, a pinch of salt. It, okay, when you taste it, it, you can feel the salt taste. So and also we are going also to be using the soy sauce which is also salty. So before you add your salt, make sure be, you, when you the two are together, you taste the taste of the salt so that you can get to understand for how 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 uh, the amount of the salt that you need to add on your food so i didn't use a lot of soy sauce because i don't want uh, the food to be more salty so, so you keep selling your food Let your tomatoes to cook till evenly till you can see like um, you can see the sizes of the the, the the cubes that you shop your tomatoes on. So the next step we have as as your, your tomatoes get ready, our our peas they were not boiled. So we are going to be putting them or we are going to be adding them at this point. To let them cook fast because we have not boiled them yet so we are going to be adding them after our tomatoes have cooked evenly so let's give it time you cook the, the uh, i think it is going to be taking like maybe three minutes till your tomatoes cook properly so as you can see our tomatoes are well cooked so i'm going to be adding all my peas and then I'm going to start it you can see it's already, already looking delicious so the, 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 the peas while well, they are not boiled they'll be so clunchy so we are going to be letting them cook for maybe like maybe five minutes and also that will apply with also our sweet corn i'm going to be adding them to let them cook with the also with the same uh, same with the peas so you stir them together by the way guys me i prefer cooking my or adding my spices before to let them cook but some of you will prefer like you will add your spices at this point so which I, it's not bad we are, it's going to also to be to taste nice but it's good it's going to be tasting more much better whereas for whereas the, the spices were more well cooked before so we are going to be giving this some time before we come and add our carrots whereas if the, the, the heat is so high for you and you want to cook the peas you can add a little water you can add a little water on it and let them boil for some time then you come and add the last ingredients so let's do so let's give them like five minutes before we add the next ingredient. 
so our our mixture of peas and corns have been cooking for five minutes so i'm going to be adding the carrots the reason i'm adding the carrots at this point is because i love my carrots to be a little bit clancy not so much overcooked so when you add them to this point you let them cook more for sometimes with the peas also oh god this food looks so delicious already even without tasting so also i'm going to be adding the salt now but before i add my salt make sure we kept we added the tomato paste and soy sauce which are a little bit salty so i'm going to be tasting the food or the soup that we are we are we have okay the reason i've tasted is to get to understand the amount of salt that is in your food so i'm going to add a little bit so this one i'm not going to measure because it is going to differ on the uh, amount of the food that you are cooking it might be small so i might be telling you it's one teaspoon of salt realize your food is a little bit smaller so you stir them together look at that guys look at that the color just it's just pulling your eyes more closer to the meal so let's give it some time remember also we have not added our capsicum yet we are going to be adding it at the end all the almost when the food is about to cook reason being also it's so yummy for the capsicum to eat it while still crunchy not so much overcooked but for those who like it to be overcooked you can just add it before you keep all you add uh, your peas and the uh, corns before on the pot to let them cook so guys it has been 10 minutes and i can feel and i can uh, the, the 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 food that the water that we added on our meal it has already dried so because we are preparing vegetable ice we don't have to require water in our food so as you can see the food look already uh, well cooked so at this stage i'm going to be adding my red and green yellow capsicum onto our our meal easy easy night wa ho ho for those who are asking themselves what is capsicum oh god see at that color hmm? next time when i'm cooking my food i'm going to invite one of you guys to my kitchen and for for him or her to taste for us and tell them tell the others how the food tastes so i don't have to add more water into the meal so i'm going to cover it to let our our ho ho ama cups come to cook for like maybe one minute because we don't want them to overcook before we finish and that's so simple it's very easy to cook our vegetable ice so we have you can see i've already boiled we have already boiled the rice before i didn't show it on the video but i'm going to be showing you on another video how to boil the white rice hmm? so what to go there don't forget just hit that subscribe button hit it hit it hit it so so easy hmm? so our food is already ready i was waiting for it to cook for the green cups come to cook so i'm going to switch off the the fire so that now we can add our rice onto our meal so we are i'm going to be adding this rice to this vegetable rice then i mean the vegetables then we are going to stir so um and when you are stirring when uh, when you are getting the rice or when you are mixing the rice with your vegetables don't use the spash this spatula because it's going to make it like look like ugari and we don't want to look for it to look so so i'm going to use a fork 
uh, which is is going to start it so well so let's see you in a short while so i've already added the rice onto our vegetables so this is what i'm i'm doing i'm using the fork to mix our rice and vegetables mix thoroughly until you see like your food it's well mixed so let's do so The reason I said you don't you have to use the spatula is because that it's going to make our food look more like uh, ugari. Look at the color. Look at that color, guys. Mm? Is it not colorful? Mm? Looks so awesome already. Can you see that, guys? See, look at that. So, we have completed preparing our dish or our recipe for today, and here it is. It looks so much colorful so much delicious and this food you can serve it with each and any kind of stew like you like but my like myself i have preferred serving it with the beef stew as you can see i've already prepared beef stew before we have uh, we have already started cooking so we are going to be tasting our meal for today and someone wants to, to taste for her mom to know how the meal is going to be. So, sorry for that. So the person who is going to be tasting the food for us today is none other than my lovely daughter. Let her come. Come, welcome, mom. Tell us. Hi, you guys. You are going to be telling us how our food for your mom today has been. So take the spoon, do like this, let me show you. So she's going, I'm going to be adding a little bit of beef stew. So taste for last man, taste with this meat. Like this, show the people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell the people mm. how is the food? It is very yummy. Very yummy. Mm -hmm. So, finish chewing. <laughs> so, how you do you tell Mama subscribers to do? Subscribe to the like and subscribe subscribe and like and share yeah. Cindy, comment and comment uh -huh. thank you for watching this video yes thank you for watching mama's video on esther jogona's video for today hope you enjoyed cooking with me hope to see you next time with another beautiful all delicious recipe don't forget to comment comment down below and tell me what other recipe you would like to see see you guys tell people's mama bye see you see you some other times